So, you want to make the uh, ever-popular talking head in the corner, circular, lower-thirded uh, pattern for your videos. Well, good news. This is possible in Camtasia 2020. So, we're going to take a quick look at this just to check it out. And you can see oh, hello. Animation Man. I've just gotten off work and decided to do a little Camtasia, as we like to yep. say. Nothing more to this. Let me go out with a little pixelate animation, right? So let's learn how to build this thing. So we're going to come over. This is just a library asset I have in my, my library up here. Got one down on the timeline. And you can see, just looking at it at the top level, it's a group. We zoom in some. Transition on it. One single animation, pixelate transition. One single animation that puts it in the corner. Another pixel uh, transition on it at the very end. So let's go back. Get here where we're about 100% scale. And let's dive into this sucker. So if we come into this and we wanted to replace this placeholder with media, you can see inside of this group, there's not much to it. There's a, uh, a track map which is just a simple circle done with a Camtasia shape. I've turned it into an alpha mat. Um, you can see there's a placeholder on that video track. And down here is where all my titling exists, right? So if I drill into this, here's the titling. So a couple things to be aware of. You're going to replace this with your own media, the library. Got some set up in here for this video. Here's our guy. I'm just going to ripple replace here. And you can see um, one thing I need to be aware of is that my video isn't quite as long as everything else. So I need to clean this up. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these two tracks and just drag them into alignment in my playhead so it's at the end of those guys so I know where to trim to come back out here grab this trim back and let's take a look all right well that's sort of what I want right so a couple things to notice here uh, we've got this flat area right here um, that's because my media is not actually lined up perfectly. I've got the mat right here. It goes all the way up to here. My media is not quite in alignment. So I'm going to grab this guy. I want to position my face in the center. Uh, I want to make sure that I have. In this particular case, it's just a 720 rectangle, 1280 by 720. Video, so I put it in here. You can really use, you know, any size bigger than this. I wouldn't recommend scaling up to it, but you could scale down to it for sure. So yeah, I mean, for the purposes of this tutorial, looks like I've got pretty much a circle. Face is centered. Scan through it. Face stays pretty centered, so I really don't have to do much here. And if I come back out. Double click on this clip. Actually, let's back up a few frames. Watch her come in. Oh, hello. Animation How down into the corner. I just got enough work and decided to do a little comtage as we like. And See you no then. smoke and mirrors, Cheerio. just like that. You've got a uh, talking head video. I'll make sure to get this uh, this asset out so you guys can pull it apart, look at it. Um, a couple things uh, to note about this. Uh, I did do a little hack with this. It turns out that um, in Camtasia 2020, groups have explicit sizes now. So um, if we come in and we take a look at this titling, we can see right here that as it animates in, notice how you've got this clipping that's going on. The clipping doesn't happen on the bottom one until after it's well into the red. Well, it's getting that, 
from the actual group. So groups have sizes and a group's bounding box serves as a default clipping mask. So sometimes when used wisely, this is gonna help you do things faster. Uh, you don't have to use a track mat, it could be less confusing. Um, other times you're gonna go like, hey, I had this animation all set up and then I changed my group size and now I'm not getting expected behavior. So be careful, use at your own discretion, understand what's going on, ask questions. Um, we'd love to see what you can build and I'll get this posted. Looking forward to seeing what you guys do.